In this video, we're going to talk about special right triangles and find in solving special right triangles, 30, 60, 90s, and 45, 45, 90s. So we'll start with the 30, 60, 90s. And let's look at this. So the first thing I would do on something like this is make myself a diagram, sort of like they have here. And I like to sketch a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Opposite the short side is a 1 ratio. Opposite the 60, we have a root 3. And for the hypotenuse, we have root 2. So these are the three basic number combinations that we need to have to be able to set this up. So let's look at number one here. We want to find X and Y in each triangle. We've got a 60, and they're giving us the short side, which is opposite the 30. So the short side times root 3 is going to be X, and the short side doubled, 16, is going to be our Y. So no, you know, just basically using the pattern here, one radical three two, um, eight is the one eight times radical three eight times two, gives us the answers that we need there. Uh, number two, the short side is a half, so twice the half is going to be the hypotenuse, which is one, and root three times a half, which is root three over two is going to be our short side, or is there going to be our um, y, which is the medium size side. Over here, they're giving us the short side, opposite the 30. So double the short side, 28, is going to be x, and 14 root 3 is going to be our other leg. Giving us a 30, 12 is the short side, double 12, 24. 12 root 3 is our y. So again, we're just I'm just going off of this. Let's see. Here they're giving us the medium size leg or side of the triangle. So the short side times root 3 came out to be 12. So we have to to get the short side, we have to divide root 3 out. Rationalize the deno um, the denominator. We get 12 root 3 over 3, which is 4 root 3. So when we divide 12 by root 3, we get 4 root 3. 4 root 3 must have been the short side. 4 root 3 times root 3 gives us the 12. 4 root 3 doubled, 8 root 3 is going to be our y for that one. Number 6, they're giving us the medium leg. So we have to divide root 3 out to see what the short side is. Short side doubled is going to be the hypotenuse. So 8 divided by root 3 is going to end up being 8 root 3 over 3. That's got to be the short side. Double the short side, 16 root 3 over 3. Then is going to be our y for that one. Okay, for uh, number seven, they're giving us the hypotenuse this time. Now, the hypotenuse is two times the short side. So the hypotenuse divided by two, 11 halves, <coughs> excuse me, is going to be our short side. Short side times root three, 11 root three over two is going to be our <coughs> medium size leg, excuse me. So, gave us hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is double the short side. Short side is opposite the 30. So hypotenuse divided by 2. And short side times root 3 gives us the other leg. Another hypotenuse. Hypotenuse doubled, or the short leg doubled is the hypotenuse. So, if I divide a root 2 out, or if I divide a 2 out, I get 3. And then 3 root 3 must be the other side of the triangle. Okay, here we have an equilateral. Well, we can't really assume it's equilateral, but we do have um, 
a 60 here, which means this is a 30 up here. So the short side is an X. Double the short side is the hypotenuse. So we're just doing this triangle here. So if 16 is the hypotenuse, half of 16 or 8 is the X that they're looking for. And I'm assuming that they're looking for that side of the triangle. Now, if they were looking for the whole thing, we 16 would actually be this, and that would be an equal. So it is an equilateral triangle, because we can see that this has got to be a 16 also. Um, to find out what Y is, which happens to be the altitude here, the altitude's opposite the 60. That's the medium leg. So the short side times root 3, or 8 root 3, has to be our Y. For this one. Let's see what we got here with these word problems. An equilateral triangle, sketch it out, has a side length of 10 inches. Find the length of the triangle's altitude. So the altitude of the triangle is going to bisect, because this is an isosceles triangle, equilateral is isosceles, at least two sides are congruent. Um, this altitude is going to bisect the base. That's going to be a 5, and that's going to be a 5. And we want to find the side, the altitude. Uh, the other thing in an equilateral triangle, we've got a 60 and a 60 there. The, the altitude is going to bisect the vertex angle. That's going to be a 30. So we're mainly going to just deal with this 30, 60, 90 triangle here. The short side is a 5. Short side doubled is the hypotenuse. Short side times root 3, or 5 root 3. 3 is going to be the altitude for that triangle. Let's look at 11. The altitude of an equilateral triangle is 18 inches. Sketch another equilateral triangle. Equilateral, equiangular. Those are all 60s. The altitude is going to bisect this vertex angle, turns that into a 30. It's also going to bisect this base. Now we need to find the length of a side here. So what we're going to do is, again, focus in on one triangle, but we'll, whatever we find out to be the side here, we're going to have to double that because they're wanting the whole side of the triangle, not just this half the base idea. So let's see what we got. The altitude is 18 inches, so this is an 18. That's what they're giving us. Now the altitude is twice the short side. No. The hypotenuse is twice the short side. The altitude is root 3 for this triangle. The altitude is root 3 times the short side. To find this short side, I'm going to have to divide a root 3 out. So 18 divided by root 3. Rationalize it. 18 root 3 over 3. Gives me 18 root 3 over 3, which is 6 root 3. So this short side is 6 root 3 of this, tri of this small triangle. The side length now is going to be double that since this is since the altitude bisects this. Twelve root three is the length of the sides that they're looking for for this triangle. Okay, so that's our thirty, sixty, ninety triangle. I'm going to stop that, and um, we're going to do another video that deals with the 